Hi everyone, it is Thursday the 5th of November and I'm filming another What I Eat in a Day. So I'm not having soup for my breakfast today, this is actually my lunch. I've not had any breakfast this morning. Basically what's happened is I've got up, done the school run, got back, wasn't very hungry when I got back. I've just had a couple of brews and they seem to have done the trick. So not very hungry this morning, however it's lunchtime now and I am very very hungry. So what I'm doing is I'm having the vegetable soup that you will have seen yesterday if you caught my what I eat in a day yesterday. Um, for those that didn't, it's just a quick soup with leftover veg of um, sprouts, broccoli, mashed potato, peas and sweet corn mixed together with, or should I say blended together with a vegetable stock cube and a chicken stock cube. So it's completely sim free, it's full of speed and it's full of free foods as well. So I'm just having a really big bowl of that. I've put some extra pepper in and I've also put some paprika in as well. So that's why it's got a little bit of a, a ready tinge to the green. So not the most appealing colour, I do apologise. But the soup looks can definitely be deceiving because the soup is gorgeous. Honestly, I'm going to have to make it again. So simple, but so lovely. So filling, so hearty, so warm. Just absolutely perfect for this miserable weather that we've got today. Or should I say that we've got now because let's face it it's winter it's November it's not going to be cracking the flags any longer is it so as you can see next to it I've got a pint of water this is my first one for today I've had two brews already so that's all the fluids that I've had and I do plan on continuing to drink water now throughout the rest of the day until dinner time this evening which is when I'll allow myself my favorite Pepsi Max because I am trying to curb that and I'm trying to increase that. So let's see if I'm successful. So yeah, that's what I'm having. It's bonfire night slash day today. Obviously we're in lockdown here in um, England. So I don't know where you guys are that might be watching this outside of England. Are you guys in lockdown? Are you doing anything for bonfire night tonight? Whether you are in lockdown or not. Um, we're just planning on going in the back garden we've got a fire pit so obviously if the weather holds out we've got some coal and some wood and bits and bobs that we can burn on the the fire I've got some big marshmallows for the kids to roast we've got some sparklers no fireworks because we do have a very very small garden and I've seen far too many accidents happen with home fireworks that have not been handled properly um, yeah, and our garden is just far too small to have fireworks safely. We've got a lot of neighbours around us. Again, you know, coming from someone that's got a baby and a dog and two cats, I don't want to be letting off fireworks in such a residential area. So, sparklers for us. We're going to get the fire pit going. We're going to roast some marshmallows. I've got some hot dogs as well. I might do them on the the um, fire pit for the kids let them stick them on skewers and just roast them against the the fire the coals and see how that goes so that's obviously if the weather is nice enough if not I think we'll just get tucked in have a movie night let the kids have some treats and do that instead and obviously I plan on staying on plan and not having anything outside of my sins so I'll obviously keep you posted what we end up doing so yeah that's it I'm going to love you and leave you now and I will jump back on again when I next have something to eat. So yeah, I hope whatever you're doing today to celebrate bonfire night, do you celebrate bonfire night or just to have a good time, bonfire night, um, let me know what, what your plans are. It would be fantastic to hear. Um, yeah, and I'll speak to you in a bit. Take care guys. So I just thought I'd pop on and show you what we're having for dinner this evening just before I actually make it. Apologies if you can hear the dishwasher but I need to cook tea and I need to wash the dishes so they're both going at the same time. <laughs> and also you'll probably hear a lot of fireworks going off. As much as we're not having any it seems like every bugger else is. So and rather them than me because it's absolutely horrible out there and it's raining. But anyway enough jibber jabber about that and what I'm having for dinner. So like I said, I'm having Mayflower curry sauce, if I did already say that, I've already forgotten. Um, I'm having the extra hot one this evening. The kids aren't having this, the hubby's at work, the kids aren't having this. Um, 
just because they don't like the Mayflower curry sauce. They're absolutely insane in my opinion, but they're not a fan. So I've gone for the extra hot one because it's just going to be me that's having it. The kids are going to be having Chinese as well, but they're going to have a sweet and sour sauce that I make for them, which is far, 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 far too high in sin. So I'm not obviously having that myself. I'm going to have this and this box will make nine portions. And if you can portion it out for nine portions, which is 28 grams each, then it is four sins a portion and with everything that I've got going into it it is definitely going to make nine portions so I'm just going to batch cook it today portion it up and then I can freeze it and just pop it out of the freezer whenever I want one so it saves me having to do this whole cooking whenever I fancy a Mayflower curry so in here obviously I'm going to have the curry sauce mix I'm going to have it with corn this evening. I do eat chicken. I don't eat red meat, but I do eat chicken. However, I just really fancy some corn in it this evening. So I'm going to use the whole bag of the corn pieces. I'm going to be putting crunchy bean, bean sprouts in it. Um, these are speed. The corn are protein and they are also free. <laughs> I had to like put my brain in gear then. Fry light to fry the veggies. As long as you don't use the whole tub then tub bottle then it's only it's in free even i'm going to put some bamboo shoots in and some sliced water chestnuts they're both speed two white onions again speed so far i've just got three carrots but i might end up putting more in i'll see how it goes they're all speed a red pepper speed and i'm going to put some garden peas in it because you can't have a mayflower curry sauce without garden peas or not in my opinion anyway and they're free on the plan so that's everything that's going to go into my curry back here i've just got some um salt pepper garlic granules and crushed chilies these i'll just flavor it as i go along and as long as it tastes nice then i'll stop using whichever one i think it's got enough of and chilies i love my spice and it's never hot enough so I always whack a few extra chilies in there as well. And then I'm going to be serving it with fried rice. And this evening I'm going to do the basmati and wild rice. Lovely, lovely rice. If you've never had it before, I really do um, recommend you give it a try at least. Especially if you do enjoy rice. Um, the basmati rice is really aromatic anyway. But then the little black bits that you can see are the wild rice. And that's got quite a nutty flavour. So if that sounds like up your street then give it a whirl you won't be disappointed so i'm going to use it obviously cook the rice as you would do normally and then i'm going to flavor it with dark soy sauce and fried egg as well or should i say scrambled egg so i'll cook that leave that to drain cook that with fry light make it all scrambled mix them two together and then add that until i'm happy and then i'm going to serve it even though it's got tons of speed in i'm just going to serve it with a side salad because why not extra speed more food in my belly and that makes andrea very very happy so this is what i'm going to cook this evening and i'll jump back on when i've got underway so speak to you in a bit all right so you can see there i've chopped up all my veggies and then i'm just frying them off in my wok um with a bit of fry light so in there is all the vegetables. The only ones that I don't have in at the moment is the water chestnuts and the bamboo shoots. I normally add those when I've got it all in the sauce just because they don't need frying off. Um, but I do fry all the veggies all at the same time just so that none overcook over the other ones because I'm one of those people that I still like my veggies to have a bit of a, a bite to them. So especially with the Chinese, you always find that Chinese is... Chinese's vegetables that doesn't even sound like good English um, but you always find that in a Chinese the vegetables that's better um, always have like a little bit of a crunch um, so I'm just mimicking that basically and I really enjoy it so this is what they look like and I will show you when I've added more so you might be able to hear behind me the veggies are cooking away absolutely lovely so what I've got here is I've tipped the whole tub of the Mayflower curry sauce powder mix into the biggest pan that I've got. This is like an absolutely huge like casserole, soup, stewy kind of pan. It's one of them really big ones. Um, just because I've still yet to add the corn, the um, water chestnuts and the bamboo shoots. So I just want to make sure that once I've got my sauce and everything like that going, I definitely have enough room to fit it all in because my wok just isn't big enough. 
So once I've poured the powder in, all that I do then is I just make sure that I get rid of any of these lumps because I've found that if you don't, it's really, really hard to try and get rid of them once you add the water. Okay, so just make sure that you squish them all down, break them up with a fork, with a whisk like I'm doing, or just crumble them between your fingers. It's completely up to you how you do it. Just make sure that you can get them as close to the original powder form as possible. So I've just squished all the lumps out of the powder. Sorry, the glare on this, I can't seem to stop it. I've got spotlights in the kitchen, you see. So all that I'm going to do, because I'm using the full powder lot, I'm going to add the full amount of water that you would do if you was following any of these recipes um, on the back. So basically, here it says you can see that whisk 85 grams of the curry sauce mix into 340 mils of cold water. So 85 grams times three, that makes 255, which is the full pack. So all that I've done is I've times 340 by three, and that's 1,020 um, mils of water that I'm going to add. So just over a litre of water that I'm going to add to the sauce. And then that should be the full nine portions then. It should be at the right consistency. And it's enough then for you to make those nine portions. And that would be the 28 grams each, which will be four sins each. I hope that makes sense. Definitely makes sense in my head. But then a lot of stuff that don't make sense to anybody else makes sense in my head. So I'm going to add the cold water now. What I normally do is I add the cold water, give it a right good stir, and then I add it to the heat. And then you just see it over time thicken. So this is the water in it, and I give it a right good stir just before I add it to the heat. Because like I say, I try and get out as many lumps as possible now. Because once you add the heat and it starts thickening, it's so much harder to get the lumps out then. So there you go. You can see I've whisked all the lumps out of it. So they've all gone completely gone. Um, don't make the mistake that I did the first time I ever made this. I thought, do you know what? I'm just going to jump the queue and mix it with boiling water instead because that just made it really, really lumpy for me. And I think that's just because the hot water activated the powder and it started thickening up straight away. So for the same reason that I said get the lumps out as much as you can first and then obviously whisk it with cold water, it did the opposite and it just started making it thicker with lumps. So yeah, it does, all the lumps do come out, it dissolves quite well in cold water, so don't be worried adding cold water to it, it does do it, and I know it looks extremely thin right now, a bit like a very watery brown soup, but as soon as you add it to that heat, it really does, it just starts thickening straight away, so make sure you don't wander off, stir it immediately, because it will, wherever the heat is on the pan, it'll start thickening from that point. So you can see here that the sauce has thickened up loads. It is really, really thick now. And all I've done is since adding it to the heat, I've just stirred it continuously. Sometimes I have found that I've needed to add a bit of extra water just because it's been a little bit too thick. But obviously, you know, it's to your own desired effect and it's the consistency that you want. Um, that you just go with. So I'm going to continue stirring this and then I'm going to add my veggies that are cooked here and then I'm going to add the corn and the bamboo shoots and the water chestnuts. And I'll show you it again. So this is it. Everything's in there now. The corn, the bamboo shoots and the water chestnuts. I've even put some chilli flakes and some garlic powder in there too and all I'm doing you can just start seeing it bubbling now and that's all I'm doing is I'm just warming it through um, the rice is on and then I'm going to make it into fried rice and then I'll serve it all together with my salad and here's my fried rice all done and dusted so now I'm going to plate up so this is it, it's all portioned up and ready to be eaten. So round here, I've got a big speedy salad, the usual jazz, all sorts of different lettuce leaves, um, cucumber and some tomatoes. I'm just going to put a tiny bit of salt on that, but no salad dressing this evening. And then here I've got my basmati and wild rice, fried rice. So it's got scrambled eggs in there, which are free in protein. It's got the rice, which is free. Soya sauce, again free. And I've used fry light to fry it, which again is free. And then this is my portion of the Mayflower curry. I've managed to get 10 portions out of what I've shown you that I've cooked this evening. So it would be less than 
four sins. However, I'm still just going to class it as four sins. It's so much easier doing that because if you use that full tub, you should be able to get nine portions out at least. And then those nine portions, each one of them is four sins for a portion. So I've got 10, which will be less than four, but I'm still classing it as four because I'm really not bothered about a micro sin. Definitely not. Um, and then obviously it's got loads of speedy veg in there. It's got the peas, which are free, and it's got the corn that is protein and also free too so that's it i'm gonna go and enjoy this and i'll jump back on when i have some dessert so my snack plate this evening is a bit of a beast <laughs> it definitely is you think i would be absolutely stuffed from that mayflower curry i can only put it down to the fact that i missed breakfast this morning so i'm still quite peckish this evening don't get me wrong i'm not hungry for a full meal again because that Mayflower curry, oh my god, it well hit the spot. It was beautiful. Really, really good. If you've not tried it yet, which I think it's a bit of a, a Slimming World rite of passage, the Mayflower curry sauce. I think everyone that's done Slimming World has had it at some point in their life. But if you haven't, really do try it. It is just like a Chinese. I can't stress to you enough how much it's just like the Chinese takeaway, except for a fraction of the thins. So please try it. You can get it from Iceland, Home and Bargains, B&M, online. They're just a few places off at the top of my head. And don't ever pay more than a pound for a pack because that's how much they are in like Iceland and Home and Bargains and stuff. So if you do get it online, don't pay more than a pound a pack. <laughs> so anyway, that bit aside, this is my snack plate this evening. I've got another pint of Pepsi Max. I had one with my dinner that I didn't show you before. I'm having a Greek style um, Muller log yogurt. Blah, 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 blah. I'm not having a Muller logger. I'm having a Muller yogurt. Um, the smooth toffee. That's for half a sin. Two packets of the Love Hearts. They're two sins each, so that's four sins. I've not had my Healthy Extra B yet today, so I'm having two of the Skinny Crunch. They're two for your Healthy Extra B, or you can send them at three sins each. I'm having an apple that is speedy. I love dipping my apple in my yoghurt. But I'm also having some Baby Bell Lights because I've not had my second Healthy Extra A allowance yet today. So I'm having three of the Baby Bell Lights that you can have for your Healthy Extra A. Or again, you can cinnamon two sins each if you've already had your second one. But I also like apple and cheese. I know that sounds really strange. But love apple and cheese but then again I suppose it's only like when you have cheese on crackers and you have apple and grapes with them does anybody else do that or is that just me or is it a Yorkshire thing or again is that just me so apple and cheese let me know what you think but yeah I'll have that with that and then that with that but not all three together so don't worry I'm not that strange so after all that that means I'm finishing the day on eight and a half sins because I had no breakfast naughty me I've had just vegetable soup for my lunch, which was sim free. I've had four sins for the Mayflower curry for my dinner. And then four sins for the Love Hearts and half a sin for the Muller Light. So that is eight and a half sins in total. Both healthy extra A's and my healthy extra I'm going to go and enjoy this. And whatever you guys are doing, make it a good one. And I'll speak to you tomorrow.